Hey, YouTube. It's Alicia Burton. I am here to talk about um, the He-Man, um, or about the He-Man front um, movie that are, is planned to come out. But as the people don't know, they have um, been having a, um, a, they got a director and they have a writer now. But let me just tell you this. Before I get on who about some of the people they should go with, I'm going to tell you this. I want them to stay authentic to the He-Man series. He-Man needs to be authentic to the original series and not other. If you're going to have that, you might might want to include some of the characters from She-Ra. She-Ra needs to be included in there. So, therefore, I will get onto that, a little bit of that in this video. So, let's get started. So, I've been saying for the last few weeks, me and my family, me and my family and my cousins has been talking about this. Who can play He-Man? Who can play He-Man? We already, we all, we were, we were voting, we was doing this, doing this was something we did over the weekend. And we put down our last votes. And we decided that Roman Reigns of the WWE would be the perfect He-Man. Why? He's built up like He-Man. He, I can see him wearing the shield and the furry bottom. Even though he has black hair, I wonder would he not mind dyeing his hair blonde for the robe. That's what I mean. So, he, we agree on that. Now, another character... I have always thought somebody from the WWE looks like. If everybody knows the character Evil Lynn, Evil Lynn had it was this one. Evil Lynn was one was Skeletor, was always Skeletor's right hand woman. She helped him, <clears throat> excuse me, with plots with everything. And she was a sorceress, but her father is a good is a warlord. Uh. A warlord sorceress. So, uh, you don't get much of that, but I tell you about that in another series. Excuse me. And the person who I feel like could play her, y'all might not be will be surprised. Former WWE superstar Melina. Melina has this sort of like cupid bow right up in here. She has a cupid bow right in here where her hairline is, and she looks like. Evil Lynn. Dead, dead gone ringer. She looks like her. Now. Now. When it comes to other characters. Um. I don't care who played Queen Marlena or King Randor. But I'm going to say this. I want Orko to be authentic. Orko will have to be authentic. I think if you can do a CGI um Oh, Lord. Let's just say He-Man doing a little bit of CGI with some of the characters. Not all, but I'm going to say with the Orko character needs to be a little bit of a voiceover with a CGI. And I, I don't know who would do that, but that's what I feel about it. Number, um, number four, um, the Sorceress. <clears throat> the Sorceress, that is a good character. I always liked it, that character, but my my choice of person to do that, um, I think it would have to be Alana of the WWE. I'm just saying she might be a good person to play, but let me just get a little bit on, um, before I go on, on some, um, some more characters. Um, one of my main characters, and I'm gonna get on to, if they brought in um, I don't know who would play Skeletor. It has to be the perfect guy. The guy that they mentioned coming back and playing him. No, 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 no. We need somebody good. Good. Something, somebody, I'm not talking people who did theater, but I'm just saying we need somebody who's not into that. Um, Jurat, um, um, from the theater or Broadway perspective. We don't need somebody from there. We need somebody who can deliver that line and deliver it good. That's how I feel about that. And the person who I feel who looks like Skeletor, regardlessly, even though he has a nose, is um, NXT General Manager uh, William Regal. Yes, 
he looks like Skeletor. So that would be a good shoe in. I'm telling you, WWE does have some um, people who kind of favor these characters. Now, if they are going to do this in like a three-part series, they're going to have to have She-Ra a part of that series. For so many years, I always thought Trish Stratus looked like her. But now, looking at it, she don't look her look like her now. But I'm going to say like this. If they actually added him as twin sister, She-Ra, in there, I believe Blake Lively would be able to pull that off. I'm sorry. Blake Lively would be the one to pull off that She-Ra character. That's one. Number two. I have a former WWE diva who looks like Kathra. Yes, y'all remember Kathra from She-Ra. If they have to bring another um, villain to be part of the franchise, uh, but she's the villain, she's the Im 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 the evil one from the She-Ra franchise, it would be Kathra. So Kathra will have to be played by uh, former WWE diva um, Victoria. But y'all, that's what I, I want to. I wanted to bring that into play because my question is: if this is gonna be a successful Masters of the Universe, are they going to bring in his twin sister some way, or shape, or form? I do want to see that, and I'm gonna later today. I'm gonna actually do another video of why I think. Um, they own, they never did a 2002 version of She-Ra. And I will get to that until the end. And the question is, are you, um, who do you think from the WWE could be in the Masters of the Universe upcoming movie? Those are my picks. So, let's see what, what you think. And do you agree with me that Blake Lively might make a good She-Ra? a good She-Ra in the series, if it comes down to it. Until then, I'm Alicia Burton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe!